Today I'll be talking about Psyduck, the first duck Pokemon. Its past PYC dates are April 20th, 1996, February 9th, 1999, November 30th, 2001, September 20th, 2004, July 12th, 2007, May 2nd, 2010, February 20th, 2013, December 12th, 2015, October 2nd, 2018, and July 23rd, 2021. I most remember Psyduck as being a Pokemon of Misty in the anime, often being released from its Pokeball instead of another Pokemon in her party. I also remember it as Lucy Stevens' Pokemon in Detective Pikachu. I like that it's basically a semi-anthropomorphic duckling. Let's get into the Bulbapedia article. Hello, and welcome to the Bulbapedia section of the video. Today we are talking about Psyduck the Duck Pokemon, whose number is 0054. This is what it looks like. Its type is water. Its abilities are Damp or Cloud 9. Swift Swim is its hidden ability. Gender ratio is 50-50. Catch rate is 190 or 35.2%. Breeding, a groups water and field. Hatch time, 20 cycles. Height, 2 foot 7 or 0.8 meters. Weight, 43.2 pounds or 19.6 kilograms. Base experience yield, 80 in the first four gens and 64 and 5 plus. Leveling rate is medium fast. EV yield is 1 in special attack. Shape is that, footprint is that, Pokedex color is yellow, and base friendship is 70. Psyduck is a water-type Pokemon introduced in Gen 1. It evolves into Golduck starting at level 33. Biology. Psyduck is a yellow Pokemon resembling a duck or bipedal platypus. On top of its head are three thick strands of black hair, and it has a wide, flat, cream-colored beak. Psyduck's eyes seem vacant and have tiny pupils. Its legs and tail are stubby, and it has cream-colored web feet. There are three claws on each of its hands. Psyduck is constantly stunned by its headache and is unable to think very clearly. It usually stands immobile, trying to calm its headache. However, when its headache becomes too severe, Psyduck releases tension in the form of strong psychic powers. The use of these powers produces brainwaves identical to those seen in sleepers, and the Pokemon is unable to recall these episodes. Psyduck lives in freshwater lakes and small ponds, but can be seen in rivers and tropical areas as shown in Pokemon Snap. As mentioned in Pokemon Sleep, Psyduck suffers headaches while it sleeps. Very rarely, their sights are Psyduck sleeping peacefully while not holding its head. This is supposed to be, very rarely, there are sights of, of Psyduck sleeping. That's the wrong there as well, by the way. That suggests that, while, like, very rarely do they see themselves sleeping peacefully. That doesn't make sense. Because if they themselves are also sleeping, you know. Anyway. Prior to Gen 5, Psyduck and its evolved form, Golduck, were the only known Pokemon that could have Cloud 9 as an ability. Evolution, Psyduck evolves into Golduck, you can see that here. Psyduck, Golduck. Game data, NPC appearances. Pokemon Pinball, a Psyduck appears on the blue table and earns the player points when it is hit. Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Platinum and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. A group of Psyduck can be found blocking the northern fork of Route 210. After the player obtains the badges in Veilstone City and Pastoria City, Cynthia will hand over a secret medicine to cure their headaches. Aww. Pokedex entries? In Gen 1, Red and Blue, while loving its enemies with its vacant look. This wily Pokemon will use psychokinetic powers. In Yellow, Always tormented by headaches, it uses psychic powers, but it is not known if it intends to do so. Sidium. Appears unaware and totally vacant. However, if its chronic headache worsens, it starts exhibiting peculiar powers. In Generation 2, Gold, it has mythical powers but doesn't recall that it has used them. That is why it always looks puzzled. Silver, if its chronic headache peaks, it may exhibit odd powers. It seems unable to recall such an episode. Crystal, the only time it can use its psychic power is when its sleeping brain cells happen to wake. Stadium 2 is just Gold's entry. In Generation 3, Ruby, Psyduck uses a mysterious power. When it does so, this Pokemon generates brain waves that are supposedly only seen in sleepers. This discovery spurred controversy among scholars. Sapphire, if it uses its mysterious power, Psyduck can't remember having done so. It apparently can't form a memory of such an event because it goes into an altered state that is much like deep sleep. Emerald, when its headache intensifies, it starts using strange powers. However, it has no recollection of its powers, so it always looks befuddled and bewildered. Fire Red, it is constantly racked by a headache. When the headache turns intense, it begins using mysterious powers. Leaf Greens is red and blues again. In Gen 4, Diamond, if its unusual headache worsens, it starts exhibiting odd powers. 
It can't remember doing so, however. And Pearl? It never remembers using its odd powers, so it always tilts its head in puzzlement. Platinum? Overwhelmed by enigmatic abilities, it suffers a constant headache. It sometimes uses mysterious powers. Heart gold and soul silver are their gold and silver counterparts. In Gen 5, black and white is platinum's entry. Black 2 and white 2. When headaches stimulate its brain cells, which are usually inactive, it can use a mysterious power. In Gen 6, X is fire reds. Y's is the gold entries. Omega ruby and alpha sapphire are their ruby and sapphire counterparts. In Gen 7 and Sun, as a result of headaches so fierce they cause it to cry, it sometimes uses psychokinesis without meaning to. In Moon, this Pokemon is troubled by constant headaches. The more pain it's in, the more powerful its psychokinesis becomes. In Ultra Sun, using psychokinesis gives it a headache, so it normally passes the time spacing out and doing as little as possible. In Ultra Moon, it has been found that its brain cells are 10 times more active when Psyduck is experiencing a headache. In the Let's Go games, always tormented by headaches, it uses psychic powers, but whether it intends to do so is not known. In Gen 8, in Sword, Psyduck is constantly beset by headaches. If the Pokemon lets its strange power erupt, apparently the pain subsides for a while. In Shield, as Psyduck gets stressed out, its headache gets progressively worse. It uses intense psychic energy to overwhelm those around it. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are their Diamond and Pearl counterparts. In Legends Arceus, suffers perpetual headaches. If the agony grows too great, Psyduck's latent power erupts. Contrary to Psyduck's intent, ergo I am exploring ways to ease the pain. In Gen 9, Scarlet is one we've done before. Violet is the silver entries. Here is Psyduck in the Lola Pokedex, and Psyduck in the Paldea Pokedex. So we got one sleeping here, and then a couple flying in the water, it looks like. Around the water. Um, yep. I got, they're holding their heads they got headaches, yeah. Uh, game locations. Side game locations. Events. Held items. Pokemon Cotton Gen 1 must be traded to a Gen 2 game in order for a held item to appear. So games, red, blue, and yellow. You get a berry 100% of the time. Stadium, normal box from round 1, 100% of the time. Legends Arceus, uh, normal, uh, medicinal leak. 40% of the time, Ball of Mud 15% of the time, Great Items by Level. For Alpha, EXP Candy S 100% of the time, Seed of Mastery 10%, and Great Items by Level. Still don't know how the math works. Stats, Base Stats, HP 50, Attack 52, Defense 48, Special Attack 65, Special Defense 50, Speed 55, for a total of 320. This Pokemon's Special Base Stat in Gen 1 was 50. Pokéthon Stats, Type Effectiveness, Damage Normally by Normal, Fighting, Flying, Poison, Ground, Rock, Bug, Ghost, Psychic, Dragon, Dark and Fairy, weak to Grass and Electric for double, immune to nothing, resistant to Steel, Fire, Water, and Ice for half. Learn Set by leveling up. 1. Scratch and Tail Whip. 3. Water Gun. 6. Confusion. 9. Fury Swipes. 12. Water Pulse. 15. Disable. 18. Zen Headbutt. 21. Screech. 24. Aqua Tail. 27. Soak. 30. Psych Up. 34 Amnesia, and 39 Wonder Room. By TM, 1 Takedown, 7 Protect, 11 Water Pulse, 12 Low Kick, 16 Side Beam, 17 Confuse Ray, 18 Thief, 20 Trailblaze, 22 Chilling Water, 25 Facade, 32 Swift, 34 Icy Wind, 35 Mud Shot, 39 Low Sweep, 43 Fling, 47 Endure, 50 Rain Dance, 54 Psy Shock, 55 Dig, 58 Brick Break, 59 Zen Headbutt, 61 Shadow Claw, 66 Body Slam, 69 Ice Punch, 70 Sleep Talk, 75 Light Screen, 77 Waterfall, 80 Metronome, 85 Rest, 87 Taunt, 98 Skill Swap, 103 Substitute, 110 Liquidation, 120 Psychic, 122 Encore, 123 Surf, 128 Amnesia, 129 Calm Mind, 130 Helping Hand, 135 Ice Beam, 140 Nasty Plot, 142 Hydro Pump, 143 Blizzard, 171 Terra Blast, 174 Haze, 181 Knock Off, 184 Vacuum Wave, 192 Focus Punch, 196 Flip Turn, 203 Psych Up, 204 Double Edge, 205 Endeavor, 208 Whirlpool, 209 Muddy Water, and 228 Psychic Noise. By breeding, Torkoal gives you Clear Smog, this group gives you Confuse Ray, this group gives you Cross Chop, this group gives you Hypnosis, this group gives you Psy Beam, this, uh, the Mirror Herb gives you Simple Beam, and this group gives you Yawn. Side Game Data, Pokemon Ranger, Psyduck is a laid-back Pokemon that likes to vacantly float on water. 
office, Poke Park Pikachu's Adventure, and the Poke Park Pad entry. Psyduck can often be found playing in the beach zone. His most favorite attraction of all is Gyarados's Aqua Dash. In Wonders Beyond, he gets confused about directions and wanders off into various areas. As a result, he has a lot of friends in different areas. Um, you got all this. New Pokemon Snap. Psyduck often looks spaced out because it's constantly dealing with headaches. Sometimes it gets swept away by the river, but Psyduck doesn't seem to mind. Costumes in Pokemon Go. For some reason, this doesn't have a name, but presumably it's something to do with winter. Um, it's got a Santa hat and a scarf. Evolution data, Psyduck at level 33. It falls into Kolduck. Yep. Okay. Sprites. Not much in the change department. It's a little bit, I don't know, thicker, I guess. It might in later generations be, you know, like the proportions are a little different. Uh, the three in here are a lot thinner than they'd be in later generations. That might just be because it's so thin you can barely see them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, like this one's a different shade of yellow, so this one doesn't really work for the other one. Not really sure if that beak shape is correct, but... I, I don't know. I don't know birds that well, so. Um, okay, so it's shiny is blue in Gen 2. And it's a different shade of blue. Um, yes. And this is a different, sort of more of a gold. Instead of the yellow. Mm hmm I guess the blues are supposed to be a reference to probably Golduck. Although it's not exactly the same blue for either of these as it would be. So I'm, I'm curious to know if... Psydux is going to be a gold shiny instead of... Yeah, we'll see. Um, then it's sort of this green-blue, kind of. Um, yeah. So basically the same. It's a very simple Pokemon that doesn't really go through much changes. Um, a little lighter yellow, I guess. A lighter blue, yeah. Um-hmm. Oh, back sprites? I, I don't know if there's going to be much of a difference. Um, not really. Uh... It's tail, maybe. Can we look at tail differences? Yeah, not really much of a difference in any of these. Um, yeah, but let's go games. This is, you know, obviously it gets better graphics, the models, as, as time goes on. Homes. Yeah. Other sprites, we have Dizzy in Pokemon Super Contest, Quackers in Pokemon Super Contest, and Slappy in Pokemon Super Contest. So presumably these are three NPC uh, Psyduck. In, in contests and stuff. So, in the anime, Misty's Psyduck is the big one. Uh, Psyduck in the anime, shiny Psyduck in the anime. That's pretty cool. Um, Psyduck eggs in the anime, so they're holding them. That's cute. Um, yes, got all this. Yep, all this going. It's a lot of Psyduck, I guess. Pokedex entries. For this first Pokedex entry, uh, I've already recorded it for the anime, so we'll let Dexter read it and then we'll cut back. Psyduck, a water Pokemon, uses mysterious power to perform various attacks. Welcome back for episode 32 in Ash's Pokedex. This is about Psyduck's attacks. Psyduck's attacks are 1. Tail Whip, number 2. Scratch, number 3. Disable, number 4. Confusion. When Psyduck's headache becomes severe, it uses amazing power. In Advanced Generations, episode 140 in May's Pokedex, Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. Psyduck suffers frequent headaches and can exhibit mysterious attacks when they become especially intense. In Diamond and Pearl, episode 87 in Dawn's Pokedex, Psyduck, the duck Pokemon. When a Psyduck's headache gets severe, it starts to exhibit odd powers. In what I presume is Journeys, episode 57 in Go's Rotom Phone, Psyduck, the duck Pokemon, a water type. Psyduck is constantly bothered by headaches. The more its head hurts, the stronger its psychic power. Origins, we got Psyduck and Pokemon Origins. See? Pokétoon, yeah, Pokemon Evolutions, Baldean wins. So Pokemon Concierge, there's, it's like, I think it's a main character in that. I would have done Pokemon Concierge for this series, but since it's a Netflix exclusive, I couldn't, so, like, I get the whole, there's like a, what do you call it? Um, a copyright filter, so I can't really record it, so there wouldn't have been much use of doing that. Um, but it would have been fun to see this, you know, to review review that series. Um, anyway, 
so then the manga we got Psyduck and Ash and Pikachu then we've got Psyduck and Pokemon Adventures oh poor Psyduck um, that the TCG and the TFG other appearances Super Smash Brothers Melee Psyduck is the third Poke Float to appear Fighting occurs on its head and beak. It then floats up and off the top of the screen as the fight moves onto Chikorita. In Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Psyduck is a grab-type novice class primary spirit. When equipped on a fighter, the fighter's psi attack is raised. In Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Psyduck appeared in Pokemon Detective Pikachu under the ownership of a journalist named Lucy Stevens. So here's the Psyduck Detective Pikachu. We're not gonna watch it, unfortunately. Uh, today because it is a major character as so, I like I don't want to risk that so uh, for at least part of the film anyway trivia uh, Psyduck is one of 14 Pokemon that one could collect for in Pokedex entries for in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Psyduck requires the most loops with the capture styler to be captured in Pokemon Ranger surpassing even Metagross Danucci Masuda has revealed that Psyduck was Considered for the role of Pikachu's counterpart in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee instead of Eevee, but it was ultimately not chosen due to it being deemed too similar in color to Pikachu. Psyduck is Junichi Masuda's favorite Pokemon. In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Psyduck is programmed to learn Simple Beam through breeding, but no Pokemon in those games can learn Simple Beam, making the move unattainable until Pokemon Home was updated. It shares this trait with Spoink. Psyduck is the only Pokemon to be featured in every artwork of the Tropical Mega Battle and World Championships participation cards. Huh. They are Tropical Wind, Tropical Tidal Wind, Tropical Beach, Champions Festival, and Paradise Resort. In the 2014 print of Champions Festival features a Psyduck-themed boat instead. Origin, Psyduck's design appears to draw inspiration from both ducks and platypuses. Platypi? Platy people? Its yellow coloration, proportions, and simple anatomy seem to be inspired by rubber ducks in particular. Name Origin, Psyduck may be a combination of psychic, referring to its mental powers, and duck. Shocking, I know. Koduck may be a combination of co-small, or co child and duck. Here is another languages. He also references external links. Let's move on. Now let's watch Psyduck first scene in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the uh, video. Um, today we are watching episode 27, Hypno's Nap Time. In this episode, Ash, the main character, and his traveling companions Brock and Misty, and his faithful Pokemon Pikachu, have entered Hop 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 Town, and they've learned that. Children have gone missing around town, and they're helping the, the local officer, Jenny, or ask people around if they have any information. They're talking to Nurse Joy here, who's told Ash and Misty that she has her own problem here at the Pokemon Center. Um, so yes, we will continue. All the Pokemon here at the center are behaving very strangely. Mm -hmm. Huh? So then, there's the Psyduck. It's also Charmander, Oddish, Cubone. Cubone. Okay, yeah, that's Team Rocket. I guess they have their own plotline in this episode. Uh, but that's Psyduck's first scene, so let's move on. Now let's watch Psyduck's scenes in Detective Pikachu. I'm just kidding. Psyduck is too big of a character for us to watch the movie. Yeah. Anyway, let's see why people love Psyduck. Now let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the... Fan art section of the video, nobody sent in fan art, so let's start looking at TV and art fan art. For those of you who don't know how this works, what we do is we go through these images until we find an image that doesn't contain a Psyduck. So this first image is called Psyduck by Urs Worse. It's this simple Psyduck. Looks like it's in like a river or something. You know, and they got the river bank and stuff, you know. And the body's underwater, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's very simple, very nice. Nice use of colors and shading and stuff. Then we got 054 Psyduck by Kutsuku. This kind of nervous looking Psyduck, you know, probably has a headache. Um, you know, very, a little bit stylized. It's, you know, especially these. It's very, very cute, very nice. We've got Psyducks by Chibi Oni-chan. So we got these <laughs> silly Psyduck just, you know, bathing and washing up and stuff. It's very cute. Yeah. 
Then we've got Psyduck and Slowpoke Derby Beach Day by Video Game Shay. So we've got a Psyduck here. And so yeah, then we got Slowpoke pretending to be Slowking, Psyduck also I guess pretending to be Slowking. We got some Wingle in the background. They're on a beach. There's some footprints here. It's, it's very cute. Very nice. Very colorful. Very. Yeah, bright and colorful and stuff, yeah. Then we've got Pokemon Oras. Or I guess it's, yeah. Ora, yeah. Oraz, which I think is Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Primal Weather confirmed. Um, Primal Weather. So we got. Oh, it's by Kainim. Also, Kainim. Um, Groudon's Desolate Land. So we've got. Primal Groudon here, and Kyogre's Primordial Sea, so then Primal Kyogre here, and Psyduck's Cloud Nine. <laughs> the effect of the weather disappeared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smiling, yeah. Like, yeah, because they got all these, like, powerful mo weather moves and stuff, and you can just cancel them out. They're laughing about it. Um, then this is does not contain a. Side so we'll move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art. I won't be streaming tonight as I need to wait until I've talked about Snorlax before I can catch a Psyduck. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Golduck. As always, this isn't my proper outfit. See me tomorrow.